Hey everyone, and welcome to the Mark 10 Mission Little Liturgies. I'm so pleased you are here to gather together and be with Jesus. Jesus says, I will be with you always, even to the end of time. As a symbol that Jesus is with us now, we light our candle. In a moment, we will listen to Jesus speak to us in the Holy Gospel. He has two important questions for all his friends. I wonder if you can listen closely to hear them. Before we open the Gospel, we can take a look inside the Mark 10 bag to see if there are any more symbols to place on our green ordinary time cloth. In the Mark 10 bag, we have a statue of a person holding a key. I wonder if you know who this is. And some names on golden card. It's time to listen to Jesus as he speaks to our hearts. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus be in my thoughts, in my words, and in my heart. Jesus went on with his disciples to the villages of Caesarea Philippi. And on the way, he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? And they told him, John the Baptist, and others say Elijah, and others, one of the prophets. And he asked them, but who do you say that I am? Peter answered him, You are the Christ. And he strictly charged them to tell no one about him. In the Gospel, what did you hear? Jesus asked his friends two questions. First, who do people say I am? I imagine Jesus' friends looking at each other a bit sheepishly and confused. Uh, some say John the Baptist, or Elijah, or one of the prophets? I wonder if Jesus smiled as he asked his second question. But you, he asked, who do you say that I am? Silence. Nobody wanted to get the wrong answer. But then Peter speaks up and says, you are the Christ. He was right. Christ is a name for Jesus, which means the chosen one who would save his people. Jesus has so many beautiful names. I wonder if you know some. I have a few here. Jesus is called King of Kings, Son of God, Messiah, Holy One, Prince of Peace, The Good Shepherd. As you hear these names for Jesus, which one do you like the most? 
You can hold it in your heart and say it a few times to yourself. When you hear a person's name, it helps you to know them better. And if you use their name, you can show you care for them and respect them. When you speak to Jesus, you can use one of his beautiful names. But learning who a person is takes more than just knowing their name. Jesus asked his friends, who do you say I am? He asks you this question too. Yes, he wants you to know his name, but more than that, he wants you to know his voice and how he feels about you. You can only learn these things by spending time with him. We do this when we listen to his voice in the Bible and when we quietly pray. Who is Jesus? Your parents, teachers or priest can point you towards him. Only Jesus himself can tell your heart who he really is and how he loves you. When we carefully listen to his voice in the Bible, we understand how kind and gentle Jesus is. When we hear about his miracles, we see his power and strength. When we pray, he tells us how special we are to him and how happy we make him. Who is Jesus? It's time to ask him. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I invite you to close your eyes. Be still. Jesus is here. Who is Jesus? He is with you now and ready to speak. Ask him quietly in your heart. Jesus, who are you? Listen to what he says. Jesus is kind and gentle but also has great power and strength. Do you need to ask for Jesus' power and strength today? Jesus has many beautiful names. I invite you to give Jesus these beautiful names, saying them after me. Son of God. King of kings, Lord of lords, Prince of peace, Good shepherd, Messiah, Brother, Friend, Mighty God, True Vine, the way, the truth, the life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Help me to know you more and how much you love me. Amen. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He 
is the shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love he is the shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love he is the shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love his banner the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love he is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love he is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love his banner over me Okay, sisters, that was so good, but I think we can do it twice as fast. Are you with me? Okay, let's go. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. He's brought me to his banqueting table and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. One way to peace. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. The one way to peace is the power of the cross and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He is the shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. He is the shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. He is the shepherd and we are the sheep and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He is the vine. He is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches and his banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Thank you for being with us today on the Mark 10 Mission Little Liturgies. We heard Jesus ask his friends a question. Who do you say that I am? He asks you the same question. Speak with Jesus today. Listen to his question and tell him in your heart who you say he is. Jesus is your greatest friend. He loves you so much and always will. Make sure you spend more time with him this week. We'll see you again soon for more Little Liturgies. Bye everyone. <laughs>